Hello and welcome back to the Metropol Grid. My name is Andre. And I'm Patrick. And thanks so much for tuning in. This is the final game of the Canadian Nationals 2016. That's right, the very last game. There will be no more. This is it. Uh, so we've gone all the way to game two. Uh, that's This is me on the left. Hey. Facing off against Alex. Um, Alex did win the last game and he was from the lower bracket. So yeah. this is what he needed to do. And we're on the second game. So whoever takes this, takes it all. Oh boy. So this is a matchup again. We've uh, we have met up before in the Swiss. Yeah, that's right. Uh, things didn't go well for me at that point. Uh, I think he swept you. He right? did definitely sweep me, All which right. was uh, not a good thing to happen in Swiss. But apparently, we made it this far. Um, so this is ETF. That is the core HB identity. That is an old alt art yep. that uh, was traded to me. And uh, on the right, he uh, Alex is playing Valencia. Sure. So we have bad pub versus a lot of efficiency <laughs> and money. Yeah, I used to think ETF stood for end the fun. Uh, people used to say that a lot, but I don't <laughs> think it's that bad anymore. Um, so this ETF deck was, uh, this is actually not my design. It's been a long time since I've gone to an event with a deck list that I haven't homebrewed. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't playing Netrunner for a while before this event. I was just busy with other stuff, so I kind of just next the net deck things. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a deck by uh, somebody named on Never DB named Maxi, and it's called the Jammy Rushy HB deck. <laughs> it has a lot of pretty cheap ice. It has a lot of Biotics 3, in fact. Um, and it wants you just to rush an early agenda in the server and then fast events out. Yep. Um, so let's see how that works against Valencia. Valencia does have the bad pub, does have a way to get into remote servers, uh, and that is a really strong start. That's just the classic opening. Two ice and a hedge fund. Ice hedge fund takes you up to 10 credits. In theory, there's some pretty nasty ice you have to uh, respect out of HP. Yeah, Brainstorm exists now. That's crazy. Brainstorm is a card uh, that nobody apparently runs, but can just it, win the game. But you need to be aware of it. You need yes. to understand the Brainstorm happens. Um, credit, in draw, install, take four from liberated accounts. Puts you in four credits, but a lot of money to, uh, to take off in the future. Yeah, he has access to money. And there we go. Into a server. That is a Jackson draw. So I took a mulligan. I think I drew a very similar hand to which I mulliganed out, which isn't terrible, but not that good. Uh, usually when anybody puts down a Jackson this early in the game and is drawing aggressively, they're either looking for combo pieces, which my deck doesn't really have, or they're trying to filter their HQ because yeah. it's not ideal. Um, so at this point in time, Rumor Mill is out and about in people's decks. Um, so yeah, there you go. Just use Jackson that, right away. Pop that immediately. There's no guarantee that Jackson will be around when you need him. Yeah, and that also does uh, telegraph that you did throw out agendas. Absolutely. So you know, there's less agendas in HQ. There might not be any while they're all probably in R&D. Yeah, that's right. Which is really important to know. Uh, Valencia Estevez over there is gonna like. What Alex does is he has a rig that is very, very uh, efficient once it gets built. And Anarchs don't have a way to tutor. They do have some good draw options. Uh, so he's going to hold back generally and just use the black mills to contest scoring remotes. Sure. I think that's a lot of the time how he does it. So he needs to get to that point. Um, he does have some secret tech cards in this matchup particularly. He is running a one of of the ever lovely E3 feedback implants. Oh yeah, that's rough against Byroids. Okay. For two influence, that buys him such a better win rate against uh, HP decks. Yeah, for sure. Um, <clears throat> so we'll see if that comes up again. Not a card you can tutor. That's a one of. You're gonna have to draw it. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see how things go here. But he's got card draw. We know yeah. he's got Street Peddlers, and we know he's got Earthrise Hotels. Excuse me. Yeah, he has a lot. Uh, street Peddlers are a really good way to find it. Um, I do know his deck is running three Temujin contracts, one of the best econ cards in the game. So it might be my best interest just to put an ice up there on the archives before the money can really start flowing. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But the other or option <laughs> is to build a remote and try and score as fast as possible. Yeah. Uh, usually the first card... Yeah. Like, he hasn't drawn a lot. In a 50-card deck, if he has three of Black Males, the chance of him having one after a mulligan is actually pretty high. I yeah. forget what the numbers are, but you can look this up on NetrunnerDB, actually, if you want to look into it. Uh, so whether or not this is something like an accelerated beta test, which can blow open the game in the HB's way, because right, you get right. res dice. pretty much negates bl Black Male. And, yeah, yeah, it, it uh, does open you a window. So whether that's that or that's something like an advanced assembly lines, a cyberdex fire suite, sure. or even a Jackson Howard, like this could be... There's, you don't know what this is gonna be, but it looks okay. Like we're gonna go straight rebirth. He's rebirthing. Um, he is rebirthing, <clears throat> and he's rebirthing the way that Alex always rebirths, and serves him so well. Uh, this is for Edward Kim. Right, of course. 
Uh, Edward is Kim is huge in this matchup. Um, oh, man. Because you've got Biotic Labors that you're counting on, yes. right? Uh, so the Econ package in this deck specifically, the way that Maxi has built this, is it's based off of Operation Econ. It has okay. a lot of uh, lateral growths. Oh, uh, yeah. Blue level clearance and oh. Biotic Labor. So this, much to trash. This doesn't run Adonis campaign. It doesn't run Eve or Breaker Bay or any of those yeah. other slow things. This is all about... But you have advanced assembly lines. You have... Assembly lines is not that much money. It's okay. It's n not enough money, which yeah. is what I mean. It's still usually around four mm -hmm. credits, which is pretty stellar. But uh, yeah, if he can lock R&D, I'm never going to be able to draw either agendas or the econ that I need to score. Right. Uh, plugging something into that server, that means one of those is an upgrade, the one that was prior there, and that is a biotic labor... We are starting fast. Okay, so you've got a Vitruvius. We have a Vitruvius. Um, I think I probably could have just scored that in the server. Vitruvius blank does nothing. Uh, mimic on the table. That means he is not afraid of face checking into things like Architect, right. which is the worst face check, I think, <clears throat> probably at this point. Uh, this or Brainstorm, for that matter. Yeah, Brainstorm. Uh, this was before... Uh, oh. Ooh, that, oh, that's too bad. That is a Kronos the Cronus project. project. Yeah. Uh, we got that for participating in U.S. Nationals. Uh, we actually have a series of U.S. Nationals videos if you want to check them out. Um, down in Ohio, they're fun. Cronus uh, off the top. That's okay. That's fine. It's only uh, one point. Losing one pointer isn't that detrimental in this matchup. You generally still need. Uh... Actually, no, it is pretty bad. Yeah, you, see, you only need three more agendas <laughs> no matter what. Unless yeah. you lose the second Cronus, then it's okay. Um, but these are all the breakers he needs. Okay, that is a yeah, Faust. That it. is a mimic. There's almost nothing he can break at this point besides a Turing, and he can still click through that. Uh, Faust just eats through Enigma last click. Single access. Uh, can you? Th I think it's pretty safe to bet to say that I have agendas in his queue based off of how aggressively I biotic out an agenda. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, and, and no matter what, there you oh, go. Oh, no. That's the ABT. Okay. No matter what, even if I biotic... Sorry, as Edward Kim, single accesses on HQ are good no matter what. Yeah, If you course. get an operation, that's a really, really big deal. Um... I did, uh, and we were talking about this game after, and that, I could have scored an ABT instead yes. of a Vitruvius. I could have gone for it, and I could have fired it if I wanted it, which is really good against Val. Um, I think you do have to go for those high-risk plays against Valencia. Yeah, I think so. For, uh, sure. for what it's worth, we have gone through those top three cards, and none of them were ice. I wanted them, and it actually was that agenda. So, okay. that's, probably that's was fair. in the best that I didn't do it in full retrospect, but that but. actually has an impact on the game. We'll see how much that, that matters. Um... Yeah, it's three to two. There's something in the remote. Could easily be an Ash. Could be a CVS. Yep. Uh, if that is even a Caprice, that could be a problem because yeah. I know Alex is not running. The important thing is he knows it's an upgrade. He knows it's an upgrade. So if it's something like an Ash, all you need is more money. Yep. Um, I did go down to only five credits. I did have to res that. Uh, that also is a big tell. It's like I res an Enigma, which is a good res anyways because it did hit a click, and yeah. a click is usually worth like I'd pay three credits to lose a click. Yeah, for sure. Um. With another street pedal under the table, mm -hmm. and I think we're running R and D at this point. He might have poked. I, that is really scary, because Temujin can come out at any point, as sure. could a medium. Yeah. And those are both very problematic, okay. and I don't and have a we'll reaction. That. Something's coming out. And that's the medium. Oh no, that's the medium. Okay. okay. So medium's bad. Oh, He's, he had Temujin and medium on there. Yeah, and he went for the medium, which I think is really smart because mm -hmm. he understands what he has to close, what kind of cards he has to keep out. He yeah, needs to find those operations. He needs to find those agendas, and I don't have a lot of money to defend. Uh, R and D. I drew a vanilla off the top. That might be the vanilla right there on H on R and D. Uh, that's something I can obviously afford to res. It's only one card, regardless. Well, that's still a tax. Yeah, it is still, still a tax. Something. And also, you know, uh, Alex is running mem strips. And yeah, the I thing saw is, that. yeah, look right now, he can't install anything. Like he can't install a David. He can't install a parasite. Right. So he actually does have to either find his console or find a mem strips. Notice on first dice means that's probably not the vanilla. Okay. Two cards up the top. That's an Eli into something else. Um, he hasn't trashed anything with uh, Kim yet, has yeah, he? Yeah, so that's probably two pieces of ice right there. Okay. Uh, but this is really, really not good uh, in terms of the medium. You need to be able to deal with that. Remember, I do have the CVS. Yeah. Uh, I don't believe spending three credits, let alone... Uh, oh, that's another vanilla. And into uh, lateral Ooh, growth is gone. Okay, that's too bad. Edward Kim Hammer. That's one count, I believe. <laughs> yep. Um. So the problem with purging is there's no point purging if R&D is not protected. Right. Because you can just make it all back again. Keep going back. Uh, uh, I think that's like an assembly lines. That's gone for one into another card. That is a blue level clearance. That's safe from the hammer. Yeah. It only works once per turn. But we know next turn, if that he goes back, I'm losing can easily get in there. the blue level clearance, which is not good. Yeah. So what ice do you think you protected R&D with at this point? 
Uh, I think it must be something beefy that I can't afford. Uh, maybe a toll booth? Oof. I think that's the biggest piece of ice in the neck, most expensive. Uh, things like an Ichi also could exist. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ichi into CVS res is okay. If you hit him at the last click, it's usually better. Oh, that's true, eh? They do have a Faust. I think also one of the strengths of running uh, the Sports Hopper is that any point in time, if you hit a piece of ice that's not good, you can sure. always just Sports Hopper and throw away. And there we go. That's the combo. Okay. So he can't Data Sucker Mimic that. Right. You've removed all the Data Sucker tokens. Yeah. He does have the, the He does have clicks, clicks right? so he's just going to so. click through it. Uh, I don't even know if he should have clicked through that last one, considering that he has two Link. I think that's a goof and a money differential. Yeah. Um, yeah, and you also have Bad Pub, so that's basically three Link. I don't even think you need to cl click through the last one. But uh, single axis on the top. The blue level, I think, is one down at this point. And not only, like, is Kim's ability super good, because trashing operations, obviously, is really good, but he's making his digs deeper. Yeah, he is. That's true. Like, trashing an operation and running back makes your medium see two more cards. Oof. Which is absurdly <laughs> powerful, considering that if he holds R&D lock, I do not have fast track. Yep. I don't have any way to break it besides Jackson Howard, which he can't afford to trash. Uh, we're going HQ here. Two credits is no res in front of the Enigma. It's only going to be one card there on the last click. Uh, I need to figure out how to score in a remote. Right. You need to make you need to count some things up. I need to make enough money to threaten to be able to res that ice. And I need to make sure that he doesn't have a blackmail yet. That sports hopper is a good way to get into the blackmail. That's true. Because yeah, if you panic, sure. you can draw something that will get you there. Archive memories, oh. hammer count. Well. Keep going up. That's actually a pretty good one to hit. Yep. Because at any point in time, I could, like, archive memories for uh, blue level. Sure. Which yeah. is a nice burst. But but that one going into the trash instead of the blue level. Yeah, I guess. There's no winning in, this, in that well, situation. Well, of course. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> I'm um, trying to take the Andre-esque outlook on this. <laughs> uh, two credits. That's all I have to my name. Now, with five cards in hand and all my remotes with at least one piece of ice in there, there's nowhere I can install unless I'm installing on an empty remote. Uh, so I'll probably have to throw something out. Oh, not that turn because he trashed an arcane memories. Right. But that's the problem with Temujin Contract is that if you put one piece of ice on an empty remote, you have to be able to res it. Otherwise, <laughs> you might be giving free Temujin. Yeah, that's true. And there we go. That's Temujin. That's Temujin. No doubt that's going to go on R&D. Um, for one credit... And actually, probably just bad pub and one other. Sorry, for one data sucker token. And then for one bad pub and one credit. I don't think he's that worried about the trace. No, I can't imagine he would be. You, it would cost you more to activate yeah. the trace, so why would he bother? But it looks like he paid through it. Okay. He's going to see two cards at the top. That's the blue level we we saw coming for a while into a Turing. Turing's a big deal. Yeah, Turing can frustrate him for sure. Yeah. So the question is now where do you put the Turing? Uh, Turing is the ice on the remote that I need to score behind. Yeah. Uh, double Turing is going to require David, which might be something he doesn't have right now considering uh, considering Anarch problems. Yeah. But Turing on R&D also will will keep him out of R&D until he finds a Parasite or yeah. a Yogg. It, it is more Parasite vulnerable when it's on R&D, but yeah. still, it would keep him out for a little while. Actually, I don't think he has a Yogg. Um, from what I understand in his construction, his decoder in his deck is Parasite and Faust. Okay. He well, doesn't sure. have any way to break code gates. This is before Black Orchestra, so that's all he needs. Yeah. He does have a dedicated uh, sentry, uh, sentry breaker, a killer, and he does have a dedicated uh, fractor in, uh, in this case, clip. it's paperclip, yeah. yes. And he has two of those. Um, in our matchups previously, I did land, uh, what's it called, uh, Cronus Project and removed one paperclip <laughs> from the game. That's Turns good. out he runs two. Okay. So it's not actually that good of a target. And we had a really uh, small discussion there just to use something different for Bad Pub so it doesn't get confused with the virus counters. Sure. Uh, so we're borrowing their green, uh, bright green tracker from my side. Um, hmm. Okay. So with five credits here, I could hedge fund if I had one. Don't think I do. But it looks like we're still going to just dump a card, take three credits. Uh, dumping a card is also really interesting because I'm obviously not drawing agendas. So it's not like my HQ is flooding up. Right. He would know. He would know. I mean... Yeah. But you go, you might want to see what I'm throwing out there. Actually, I don't think you want to run archives because there is a CVS in there. <laughs> Does he know there's a CVS in yeah, there? Yeah, because I popped it and used it. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah. Right, um, right, of course. But I still think every turn there's almost nothing that will keep you out from just like popping in and seeing what's on good on top of R&D. You do get Temujin credits, so if you spend three even breaking... Yeah, uh, you're making money on You're making run. money. Oof. So one data sucker token, one bad pub, and then probably just <laughs> one credit, and we can do the trace here. Uh, so trace one against link based trace two, um, and I'm gonna need my money anyways to res ice. So there I get the finger point, and that's nothing. Um, There's your toll booth. 
that's a big one. That's pretty beefy. That that's that's a big one. Yeah. Uh, he might. He has the cards to get through it if he wants. He does, and I think at this point you've already lost three credits. You might as well. Yeah, in for a penny. Uh, Data sucker, two cards will get you through. One boost, one break, and that gets okay. you four credits and a bunch of accesses and a data sucker back. That's not too bad. Uh, he understands where the game is right now, and I think that Edward sure. Kim Choice yeah. is doing him so much work. Yeah, I mean he's thinning R and D and he's killing your economy. Yeah. Um, on the plus side though. Ichi? Oh, that's a hedge fund. Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> that goes, too. Uh, that's another Turing, which is good, because that says it's the Turing server, and Jackson is also going to get the trash. No. Um, that server R&D now, I think, is stemmed up relatively well. That is a pretty taxing server to get through. Yeah, even he's not going to do it too often, but yeah. he knows that's where the game is anyway. Even if Temujin is on the other side of that server, uh, that's pretty hard to get through. Uh, the three credits from the, the toll booth does basically counteract the majority of the Temujin credits. Absolutely. It just makes yeah. it more affordable to run, but it doesn't make a way to make money. Yeah, but it brought you down to zero credits. Yeah. Uh, Victor over there was not impressed by the way that we were tracking clicks, <laughs> so we're going to have to track our own clicks. Yeah, and kudos again to Victor for running this thing. Yo, he, he killed did a great it. job. He ran a great tournament. Yeah. Um, shout out to Torsog Grid. Uh, I, I'm not going to do a good job to clock, trick, click tracking uh, with those, so Clocking we'll see. tracks. Uh, four credits, Earthrise Hotel. Okay. More card draw. I think this is the very, very well-disciplined running uh, where uh, Alex understands that he has to, like, this is not the point in the game where he's going to be running off it anymore. Yeah, he, he can take, he can afford the time to build up his strategy. Yes. Because but... he can contest remotes if he has blackmail, and I'm not doing anything better than just taking three credits. Yep. Uh, throwing cards out. Okay. Uh, so money needs to be built. I think I need about eight credits to res two double turning on my remote, if that's what I'm working at. Uh, Vanilla doesn't do that much work in this matchup now that he has a fast on the table. Otherwise, that is actually a pretty good face check or a piece of ice because it either eats up a parasite mm -hmm. or it requires about five credits <laughs> from a paperclip <laughs> that's for right. the first time, yeah. which is pretty good. <clears throat> it looks like just three credits putting a daily cast, a turn that on paper sounds terrible, is yeah, doing really well in this matchup. He's just being patient. He knows he can wait a little bit. Yep. Um, so at this point, I think we're just about breaking R&D lock. Yep, which means that he'll probably run R&D next turn. <laughs> he needs to, well, he, he doesn't really have a way, to, a good way to get through that toll booth. Uh, and he doesn't have MU. Which is a big deal. Like, if he wants to put a David on the table to be able to contest a oh, turning yeah, remote or anything like that, he just doesn't have a way to deal with it. And that'd be pricey. He'd need the mem strips and then the David. Yeah. And also, like, if you put a Turing on a central server, he needs to parasite that. Yeah. Which, again, is another MU. Which could be problematic. I think all those cards he have are... Mimic is not as crucial as it used to be now that he has a, a Faust. So sure. that actually could go. Oh, no. Actually, no. The Mimic is breaking the Ichi. That does <clears> seem... <throat> pretty important yeah uh, bring the ichi pretty efficiently yeah really efficiency efficiently uh we still haven't found that e3 feedback implants but at any point in time that does make things like an ichi which seems like a really scary <laughs> piece of ice not that yeah. bad this was before the fairchild meta i think we had fairchild one that might be it uh That's well fairchild it. two was in blood money which was the same one that had temujin isn't it uh, I have no doubt if I had Fairchild do without it, I would be playing it, and I'm not. So I okay. think it might be one before that. Okay. We'd have to look back at the numbers. But uh, the Fairchilds aren't out. Right now in the meta, Fairchild 3 is a huge piece of face check ice. <laughs> you want to run first click or not at all, unless you have a David. And even then, that's a full David. So yeah. Have you seen the spoilers for Fairchild 4? Oh, man. R yeah. Ridiculous. I can't believe it's it. It's great. Um, we're poking HQ here. That's an Eli. That is actually... A a relatively annoying piece of ice to yeah, deal it's pretty with. Yeah, taxing. Uh, that's either three cards or two data suckers and two cards. None three, of those sound three good. Three credits with paperclip. Yeah, so. which he needs to install again. Memory's a problem. Yeah. Um, it's probably going to be a balance. I think these are the. This is the specifically the kind of ice that E3 is really kind. Not kind to the corp, <laughs> but it's very good with dealing with. Yeah, yeah. Because you basically spend a click and a bad pub. Unless you basically yeah. use your bad pub on any Byroid, which mm -hmm. is a lovely use. Um, okay. So what are we now? We're at hammer count, maybe three or four. We have an ice and a remote. I think it's higher than that, actually. Oh, yeah, probably. Uh, ice and a remote. We are testing for blackmail. You see, I did check what was in his archives. So that, that either is a single right. bluff or a double bluff. <laughs> Whether that's something <laughs> that. he actually wants to get. Maybe you mumble the word blackmail, blackmail, blackmail yeah. out loud. That's Make funny. eyes. Important, yeah. <laughs> meaningful eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're holding on to a card there. Just liberate it. Install, take some money, it seems. Just making the money to make 
probably a whole lot of R&D runs in one turn. And I think, no, that he has one click left. Yeah, he wanted enough money, so if he okay. hit something bad, he would still be able. And that's a purge. Oh, there we go. Nice. That's good. So that was a bait. That yeah. was uh, s s social engineering, quote-unquote. But uh, <laughs> that's more importantly is that did clear. Like, I should have been purging. You can't leave three on medium three counters yeah you're just hoping he'd hit a cyber yes, i guess i needed to purge at some point uh yeah. operations are starting to come through okay so you've cost him a blackmail that's great you yes forced to purge that's and awesome. he has thrown out the same old thing at this point i think yeah he definitely did can the same old thing breaking through something yeah targeted marketing oh, there's your own target marketing for e3 feedback implants awesome um alex was well, I was imp happy to be able to do that at a top table <laughs> and not it be a really bad call. Because yeah. that card will actually rip up my board state at this point in time. Uh, that doesn't get called off. And he just drew it. <laughs> <laughs> I think just that, flashed the camera. Yeah, that got actually a pretty good laugh from the audience. Uh, what a card. But that card will do a lot of work right now. It opens up HQ in a pretty pretty good way. Yep. But it looks like we're just going to run and click, click. Yeah, trash that paperclip. Trash that paperclip. Good thing about those breakers too is that if you want, you can throw them out with Faust at just about any point in time in the game, and install them from Heap, yeah. saving you a click if you want to do it that turn. Oh, Anarchs! <laughs> yeah, Anarchs can do everything, huh? So rough. But he needs an agenda at this point because yeah. he's not running a current. If he needs to get that E three down, and that E three is huge. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, he might not have any more blackmails at this point, or if he does, like you'd have to pop his hopper to get towards them, which doesn't do. It's it's fine either way. <laughs> it's um, fine. It's okay. I am drawing up heavily. Yeah. Uh, you're looking for agendas too, I guess. Yes. And okay. that's the thing with this deck is if you can't score a global food early, you're going to have to be biotic out four agendas. <laughs> yep. Which is not undoable. Uh, that's why you have so many archive memories and you obviously have Jacksons in your deck. Uh, and so he has he, he, used the hopper. Yeah, he's using the hopper. You can tell he doesn't have the blackmail in hand. He's uh, desperately digging for it. Yeah, he's digging for... I don't know how many same old things he has, but Street Peddler's not going to do it. Nope. I don't think he's running Inject. That won't do it. He just needs it. And Deja Vu is basically oh, okay. That's three credits for a blackmail. Two clicks. And that's the other Kronos, which is totally fine. Okay, that's totally fine. It do, it won't affect it at all, really. No. It, it does blow I mean, okay, up the current. It does, uh, it does kill the current. And gives him the E3, but uh, that was probably going to happen at any point. Yeah, who's going to happen eventually? I'd rather eat a blackmail and I'd rather eat a Deja Vu because now I can probably plug into the remote and he'll actually have to face check it. Uh, if that's double Turing, which it might be considering I know I drew two Turings, that yeah. is a scoring remote. Um, so install gives me a credit. I think I have one more to take a credit yet. And we're at 14. I can res two Turings. This is actually looking yeah. all right. You can res two Turings and still score an agenda. Yeah. That's amazing. Uh, he's going to need exactly MU and a David, and oh, that's MU, there's so MU. that's actually a start. Uh, Basically plus three MU, and, and that's okay, a David. That's a David. Oh, no. That's perfectly everything he needs if that's a double yeah. Turing server. He doesn't need money to get through that server now. No, he doesn't at all. Uh, there's no up defensive upgrades in this deck besides uh, CVS, but that was everything he needed for, like, what is that, six credits? Uh, that's not good. Um, no, no, this is trouble. The only good thing about that is that well, it's not actually that ideal, because even with one data David counter, you can get through a double Turing remote as long as you click. So even texting at two David counters is yeah. still allows him into that server. So first Turing, that's a David. Second, Second Turing, Turing, that's a David. And, and access, and that is an agenda. The next ABT, which I definitely needed at this point in the game. Oh, boy. Okay. So that was the perfect answer. MU into, into David. Yeah, he had exactly what he needed. Oh, that's not good. Um, we are now definitely on game point. It is... Two to six. Uh, uh, and he can click through one Turing and use a David on token on the other. Yeah, that, that server is not That server is not safe. safe. There is a third Turing in this deck. Building a three Turing server sounds a bit absurd, but it's not impossible. Uh, even then, like, he does have to check everything I install. Oh, no, he doesn't because he's on game point, not me. Uh, <laughs> install. Yeah. Take two. Um, at this point, also, HQ is a problem. Like, he can get into HQ really well. I think R&D is my most protected server. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that looks like it. So, because um, you can run, click, bad pub, throw out two cards, or throw out one card if you manage it to get to your last click, and you do get an access. I have been drawing pretty heavily because I am looking for biotics and other combo cards. Yep. Um, um, he's just letting... He's just drawing right now. Yeah. I think I, I tracked a click there. I mean, the pressure is not on him right now. Again, no, it's so really it's... not. He does have to watch out for biotics. Like biotic into ABT can make a massive swing in this game yeah. if I am fortunate with how the way it fires. Uh, we're gonna dirty laundry HQ. Get some added efficiency out of that for a single access. Yeah. Uh, use E3 plus a bad pub. E3 bad pub. Single card is gonna be the extra mimic. That's not necessary. 
and we get a single access out of five. Um, I don't know what the chances are now, but there's definitely a gen in HQ. Oh, uh, no, there was. And that's it. Oh, that's too bad. Well, I mean, congratulations to Alex. Such congratulations to Alex. That's Canadian Nationals. I think I had a lot of agendas in there. I think there's <laughs> two foods. Oh, man. So things weren't looking okay. too good. Yeah. Um, massive props to Alex. He, uh, I'm not that, uh, oh, yeah, hey, that's a Vitruvius. Um, yeah, so Alex, I think, is easily one of the most consistent competitive oh, netrunner sure. players yeah, in absolutely. Canada. So I'm actually, I'm. it's happy that he's won this considering that he, I think he deserves it. Yeah. Um, yeah so yeah, congratulations. Um, congratulations to you for getting to basically second place. Yeah, thank you. That's fantastic. Um, I, I had no idea things would go this well. I did net deck my decks and I haven't actually practiced them that much. So things <laughs> yeah. like kind of went really well. I got some good matchups and uh, I think I did play pretty well. Not these last two games. I, I'm not that impressed with how that went. But uh, <laughs> things are good to this point. So I'm happy about that. Uh, that was Canadian Nationals, and that was actually a lovely run event. Um, yeah, that, that really was. Like we said to Victor, that was he, he did he just did such a good job. Yeah, absolutely killed it. Um, yeah, also, like these, you know, these tech cards that seem kind of niche, like the E three feedback implants, yeah, uh, the rebirths thing. Like rebirth seems universally useful, but these <laughs> cards had such an impact. Yeah, the they day. really they really did. Um, and um, um, it's not so much the game is about silver bullets at this point. But it, it's just, it's it's very intelligent meta-analysis, understanding what you're going to run into. Yeah, the, certainly that's the way it is when you get to this high level. Yes. You need to predict whether people are going to be playing and understand what can beat your deck. Yeah, yeah. And then play around that. Um, I think at the, the turnout of this, the, it was like maybe 20% ETF, 20% CTM. It might be higher, but those were like the two most popular represented yeah. uh, IDs. As much as the top eight was actually pretty varied, I think yeah, we had was. just about everything besides but Criminal Jinteki. and Jinteki. No, there was Criminal. Oh, the there was, eight, yeah, right? yeah, it was everything besides Jinteki, which is actually pretty good at mm -hmm. this point in the time. Um, well, hey, thanks so much for watching. Uh, sorry, I, I guess, if those who are watching the channel uh, <laughs> that are on my side that I didn't win the Nationals, but uh, yeah, okay, we did well enough. Um, <laughs> we did okay. Do stay tuned. I think we have an interview coming up. I haven't looked at it yet, so I hope it turned out. It was filmed pretty hastily, so we'll look into that. But otherwise, we do have store champion season that's starting up probably the week of when this goes up. No, that's true. This Saturday, right? Yeah. Oh so, boy. Um, oh boy. Uh, we're going to have more content coming for you real soon. We're also looking into doing other stuff, uh, some Jinteki.net games, things like that. Oh, cool. So there'll be a video coming out real soon talking about like the future of the channel and what you would like us to do because... Admittedly, these videos do take a while to, take, to come out and yeah. uh, would be interested in making more regular content. Um, otherwise, thanks so much for tuning in. That was an exciting adventure. That uh, was pretty fun. Shout out to everyone at Torsog. They've been lovely, and thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. Ciao.